Welcome to Let's Crack It with Satyajit. Today we are diving into an important topic for your competitive exams such as SSC JE, RRB technicians and other competitive exams that are at state government and central government level. So today we are talking about a very important topic that is called workplace safety and health. So in this video we will go through 25 multiple choice questions designed to test your knowledge and understanding. Remember. Safety is just about following the rules. It's about creating a safe environment for yourself and for others. So let's get into the topic and see the 25 multiple choice questions that are very important for competitive exams. The first question is, what is the primary objective of local workplace safety and health guidelines? So the options are to protect the environment, to ensure the productivity of workers, to safeguard the health and safety of individuals, to regulate the use of machineries. And the answer is to safeguard the health and safety of individuals. So I can give you an explanation for this. The main goal of WSH guidelines is to keep everyone safe at the work. Imagine a shield that protects workers from getting hurt. So this is what these guidelines are all about. Always remember, the core of any safety guideline is to ensure everyone's well-being at the workplace. So the next question, question number two, which of the following is a critical reason for implementing WSH guidelines? Option A, reducing insurance cost. Option B, protecting workers from hazards, ensuring equipment efficiency or enhancing customer satisfaction. So I'll give you five seconds to think of and the answer is protecting workers from hazards. So the most important reasons for WSH guidelines is to protect people from dangers. It's like putting up a fence around a dangerous area to keep everyone safe. Now think of WSH as a protective shield that keeps you safe from potential dangers at the work. The next question. The term hazard in WSH refers to A. A situation that ensures safety B. A potential source of harm or adverse effect C. A type of protective equipment D. A routine workplace task So hazard, have you heard about this word before? So a hazard means a potential source of harm or adverse effect. So I can tell you a hazard is something that can cause harm like a sharp tool or a slippery floor. Recognizing hazards helps prevent accidents. So identifying hazard is the first step in preventing the accidents. The next question, question number four, which of the following should be reported immediately according to WSH regulations? A. Completion of a task B. A dangerous situation or condition C. Employees attendance D. A successful risk assessment So, the answer is a dangerous situation or condition. Let me tell you that reporting dangerous situation right away is crucial because it can stop an accident before it happens. Just like warning someone about a pothole on the road. So reporting hazards quickly can prevent serious accidents and can also save lives. Now, the fifth question is, what does risk assessment involve? <clears throat> the first option is evaluating equipment performance, identifying hazards, evaluating risks and implementing control measures, estimating the cost of safety equipment or measuring employee productivity. So the right answer for risk assessment is identifying hazards, evaluating risks and implementing the control measures. Risk assessment is like checking the weather before going on a trip. It helps you to prepare for potential dangers and take action to stay safe. So risk assessment is like a safety net catching potential dangers before they cause harm to you. The next question is, 
Which personal protective equipment is commonly used in electrical works? A. Hard hat B. Insulated gloves C. Safety goggles D. Earplugs So as it is mentioned that it is electrical work, so the first thing that will come to your mind for personal protective equipment is insulated gloves. Even if the other options are very close to that, but electrical work means you have to use the insulated gloves. So insulated gloves protect you from electric shocks, just like how a raincoat protects you from getting wet in the rain. PPE is your last line of defense. Make sure you are wearing the right gear for the right job. Next question. In WSH, what, what does safe system of work mean? So, options are a set of regulations for equipment maintenance, a procedure to ensure safety while performing tasks, a method to improve workplace aesthetics, D, a training program for the new employees. So, safe system of work means there is a procedure to ensure safety while performing the tasks. And like a safe system of work is like following a recipe while you are doing any uh, food item. You need to think, do things in a certain way to get the best result or the safest result. A safe system of work ensures every task is done without compromising the safety. Now the next question is, which of the following is not a type of workplace hazard? Option A, electrical. Option B, chemical. Option C, ergonomics. Option D, monetary. And you can easily say this is an easy question. So workplace hazard is not related to monetary. So hazards are things that can physically harm you like electricity, chemicals, but not financial issues that are money problems. So understanding different types of hazards helps you stay vigilant and prepared for any type of accidents. And the next question is question number nine. What is the first step in a risk assessment process? The options are A. Risk control B. Hazard identification C. Accident reporting or D. Safety training And the correct answer is Hazard identification The first thing you do in risk assessment is to spot the danger just like you would look both ways before crossing the road. So spotting the hazard is the key to preventing potential accidents. And the next question is Question number 10 which of these is a common occupational disease related to WSH? The options are A. Common cold B. Noise induced deafness C. Seasonal allergies or D. Muscle cramps And the correct answer is B. Noise induced deafness Noise induced deafness happens when you are around loud noises for too long without any protection. Similar to how your ears might feel when you are in a loud DJ concert. So occupational diseases can be prevented by adhering to the safety protocols. The next question is, what is the main purpose of safety culture in a workplace? The options are A. To improve teamwork B. To enhance productivity C. To minimize risks and ensure safety D. To promote innovation And the correct answer is to minimize risks and ensure safety. A safety culture is like having a team where everyone looks out for each other, making sure no one gets hurt. A strong safety culture protects everyone in the workplace. And now the next question, question number 12. When handling hazardous material, what is the most critical action to take? A. Read the supplier's instruction. B. Wear stylish clothes. C. Ignore safety protocols or D. Speed up the task to finish early And the correct answer is Yes, you must guess it right It's read the supplier instruction Reading the instructions ensures you know how to handle dangerous materials Just like reading the manual before using any new gadget So following the supplier guidelines ensures safe handling and use of hazardous materials The next question what does the term risk control refer to? The options are Ignoring hazards Implementing measures to reduce or eliminate risks Estimating financial risks Or D. 
increasing workplace hazards and the correct answer is b implementing measures to reduce or eliminate risks risk control is like putting on a seat belt before driving it reduces the risk of injury if something goes wrong so controlling risk is a crucial to maintain a safe working environment now the next question why is ergonomics important in the workplace and the options are a to ensure maximum employer discomfort to em- b to prevent musculoskeletal injuries c to increase the complexity of tasks d to decorate the workplace and the answer is b to prevent musculoskeletal injuries ergonomics is about setting your workplace so that it's comfortable and does not cause any injuries like adjusting your chair so you don't strain your back ergonomics is all about designing a workplace that fits you not the other way around the next question which of the following is a key responsibility under wsh the options are a ignoring safety protocols b reporting hazards immediately c delaying hazard reporting d avoiding the use of ppe and the correct answer is reporting hazards immediately reporting hazards is like telling someone there is a spill on the floor so that it prevents others from slipping and getting hurt timely reporting of hazards can prevent accidents before they would happen and the next question is what should you do if you cannot remove an identified hazard option a ignore it option b take immediate action to minimize the risk option c wait for the supervisor to notice it option d transfer the risk to another department and the correct answer is b take immediate action to minimize the risk so if you can't get rid of a hazard you should do something to make it less dangerous like putting up a warning sign now when you cannot remove a hazard reducing the risk is the next best step so the next question is which of the following is not considered a wsh responsibility the options are a following safe work sa- work practices option b ignoring unsafe practices c wearing appropriate ppe and d reporting accidents and the correct answer is ignoring unsafe practices ignoring unsafe practices is like ignoring a fire alarm it can lead to serious consequences always take action to stay safe always take responsibility for your safety and safety of others and the next question what is the primary benefit of a strong safety culture in the workplace option a a high productivity option b reduced accident rates c increased profits and d better teamwork and the correct answer is b reduce accident rates a strong safety culture means few accidents because everyone is aware of and and follows safety practices like how a team works together to win a game a strong safety culture leads to fewer accidents and a healthier work environment the next question which type of a hazard is associated with noise levels in the workplace a chemical hazard b biological hazard c noise hazard or d ergonomic hazard and the correct answer is c noise hazard noise hazards come from loud environments that can cause damage to your hearing similar to how loud music can make your ears ring protecting your ears from noise hazards is crucial for long term hearing health the next question what is important to follow manufacturer's instruction for safety equipment to save time to ensure the equipment is used safely and effectively to avoid reading manuals or to impress colleagues and the answer is to ensure the equipment is used safely and effectively following the instruction is like following a recipe it ensures that you get the desired and safe result every time so following instructions ensures you safety equipment does not right thing the next question what should we done when a dangerous situation is identified the options are a continue working report it immediately to an authorized person wait until the end of the shift to report ignore it and hope it goes away and the correct answer is b report it immediately to an authorized person reporting a dangerous situation by right away is like calling for help when you see a fire it could prevent a disaster immediate action is crucial when facing dangerous situations the next question is 
Which of the following is a common risk control measure? A. Ignoring the hazard. B. Implementing safety protocols. C. Assuming the risk is low. D. Delaying the response. And the correct answer is B. Implementing safety protocols. Implementing safety protocols is like putting on a helmet before riding a bike. It's a preventive measure that keeps you safe. Safety protocols are your first line of defense against workplace hazards. The next question, which type of right risk control is the most effective? A. Administrative control. B. Completely removing the hazard. C. Replacing a high risk task with a low risk task. D. Using PPE to manage the hazard. And the correct answer is B. Completely removing the hazard. Removing the hazard is the best way to ensure safety. Just like removing a sharp object from a child's reach. Elimination is the most effective way to control risks. Get rid of the hazard immediately. The next question. What should be done immediately after an injury occurs in the workplace? A. Ignore the injury. B. Report it to the appropriate authorized person. C. Work continuously as if nothing happened. D. Hide the injury to avoid paperwork. And the correct answer is B. Report it to appropriate authorized persons. Reporting an injury right away is important because it ensures you get the help you need. Just like telling a teacher if you get hurt in the school. Reporting injuries quickly ensures prompt medical attention and prevents further harm. And the next question or the final one, which is the final step in the risk assessment process? Hazard identification, risk control, risk evaluation and implementing soft safety measures. And the correct answer is implementing safety measures. After identifying and evaluating risk, the final step is to put safety measures in place. Just like locking the door before you leave the house. And after identifying and evaluating this, implementing safety measures is crucial for protection. That wraps up our session on the safety and health for competitive exams. Remember, mastering this concept is not just about passing your exams. It's about understanding how to create a safer workplace for everyone. Keep practicing, stay safe and see you in the next video on Let's Crack It with Satyajit. Hope you like this video. Please comment down below what the next topic you want to see and see you in the next video. Thank you.